Good afternoon, friends, and thank you very much for coming over for this uh, media interaction. Uh, as usual, uh, we will begin with the opening statements by the two ministers, and then they've agreed to take one question each from uh, both the sides. I therefore now request the uh, External Affairs Minister of India to make his opening remarks to the media. Your Excellency, um, Mr. Erlan, Idrisov, Honorable Foreign Minister of Kazakhstan, friends to the media, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure indeed to, to host uh, His Excellency, the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan. Uh, Mr. Idrisov, as an, as an official visit to India, uh, at my invitation, I am deeply uh, grateful that he accepted our invitation. It's a particular honor for me to meet uh, this very old friend of India, who in fact started his, his uh, diplomatic career in this city uh, as a member of the then embassy of the Soviet Union. As you know, India's relations with Kazakhstan have been extremely warm and friendly. In the last few years, we've had several high-level exchanges uh, between our leaders. In 2009, during the visit to the president of Kazakhstan to India as a chief guest for our Republic Day, we declared a strategic partnership uh, that we have assiduously nurtured since then. Our Prime Minister visited Kazakhstan in 2011 on a visit which further strengthened this strategic partnership. And that's when we signed the Joint Action Plan defining the roadmap till 2014. Uh, and this involves various bilateral projects now, we've had the opportunity today to review uh, a lot of them and very constructive progress that's already been made on the, on the roadmap. Our meeting today was, needless to say, very fruitful. We reviewed particularly our bilateral relationship with the, which now encompasses a number of strategic sectors, including defense, civil nuclear energy, and hydrocarbons. Uh, we also discussed various regional, international issues of mutual interest and will continue to do so over lunch after our media interaction. Uh, we have a remarkable similarity uh, of views in most of global problems of today. We agreed that the menace of international terrorism has to be fought by the international community collectively and that we must all make, uh, we, we must also make bilateral efforts in this, in this direction. Uh, we've expressed satisfaction over the progress in our trade and investment relations, but uh, the Honorable Minister was quick to point out that uh, the potential is much, much greater. Our trade reported, uh, is reported to have crossed the half billion dollar mark uh, for the first time last year, but still uh, we agree it's modest. We also have a number of significant investment projects in the pipeline. Uh, in both countries, we've agreed to explore possibilities of creating a direct trade and energy corridor between our countries. And this is really the visionary uh, uh, projects that we are thinking of. We hope to also have enhanced air connectivity uh, with airlines from Kazakhstan and India, soon uh, uh, having 14 flights a week to destinations in each other's countries. We reviewed our growing cooperation in the energy sector. Our company, ONGC Videsh Limited, has already acquired 25% stake in the uh, Satpayev oil block in the Caspian Sea, based on agreements that were reached when our Prime Minister visited Kazakhstan. We also explored further possibilities of cooperation in the hydrocarbon sector. Uh, we've requested support of the government of Kazakhstan for an important bid that, we, that OVL has, is making for a stake in the Kashagan oil field. We have strong links in the educational and cultural spheres. Collaboration in the field of information technology uh, is of very special interest uh, to Kazakhstan. And India is, uh, is pleased to be setting the IT Center of Excellence at the Eurasian University in Astana, which will be equipped with a supercomputer. The first batch of trainees from the Eurasian University have begun training in India last month. Uh, we've also informed the Honorable Minister that India will set up a Central Asia e-network as part of our Connects 
in Felicia policy, uh, which would bring tele-education, tele-medicine uh, to people of uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, we've agreed to stay in touch on important global and regional issues, and I have uh, uh, informed the Honorable Minister that I will be visiting uh, Kazakhstan for the Istanbul Process Conference, and indeed also accepted uh, his gracious invitation to visit uh, on a separate bilateral <laughs> visit. Uh, we've decided to strengthen our strategic partnership with a range of new initiatives that will boost trade and economic ties. Uh, thank you very much, and I now request the Honorable Foreign Minister Idrisov to address you. Uh, sir, uh, thank you very much for your very kind words, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, um, uh, it is my pleasure uh, to uh, see you here, and uh, I am heartened by your interest uh, to uh, Kazakhstan-Indian uh, relationship. Uh, 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 Foreign Minister uh, Horshid has given an outstandingly uh, detailed uh, uh, overview of our agenda and uh, what we have discussed uh, today. Uh, it is indeed a very full plate uh, of uh, things uh, we have to do together. Uh, it was our mutual recognition uh, that uh, our record uh, is quite impressive and uh, uh, our relationship covers uh, uh, many important uh, areas of uh, uh, um, uh, our cooperation, uh, which uh, are of uh, significance uh, to both countries. Uh, let me add one thing. I fully subscribe, of course, to what the uh, uh, foreign minister said, uh, and uh, I thank you for uh, uh, very high appraisal uh, of what we have been able to achieve so far, uh, and I fully agree with you that uh, we have to jointly raise the plank of our relationship uh, even higher, uh, because both countries with their potential deserve this. Uh, let me add one thing uh, to make it very clear to uh, Indian media. Uh, I came here to uh, um, uh, uh, confirm and uh, uh, reaffirm our full respect and recognition of India's uh, 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 global and regional standing. Uh, India is one of the key players uh, uh, in political and uh, economic global affairs and regional affairs. Uh, we uh, uh, respect India uh, as the country who was one uh, uh, among the, f uh, the first uh, to recognize and support our independence uh, 21 uh, years ago. Uh, we uh, uh, see the growth of India and we have uh, full appreciation of the opportunities uh, the growth of India presents to the world and to our part of the world. We are also appreciative uh, of India's recognition uh, of Kazakhstan as the regional powerhouse. Uh, in 21 years of our independence, Kazakhstan has been able to achieve uh, great uh, strides of uh, development uh, in political, economic, and other uh, 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 aspects of life in Kazakhstan. Uh, this mutual recognition uh, uh, of India as uh, a major global player and uh, a major uh, country uh, of South Asia and India's recognition of uh, Kazakhstan's uh, a major role uh, in Central Asia uh, is a very good basis uh, for us uh, to look uh, uh, into further uh, opportunities to uh, enhance our partnership. Uh, we recognize today that uh, the 21st century presents uh, enormous opportunities, but it is also full of uh, uh, different challenges. Only joining hands uh, will we be able uh, to efficiently address uh, those challenges and uh, efficiently utilize uh, multiple opportunities. That's a common desire, uh, uh, which was uh, uh, affirmed and uh, cemented uh, during the visit uh, of my president uh, to uh, New Delhi in 2009, and during the visit of uh, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh uh, to Kazakhstan in 2011. This pro the prospects of uh, cooperation between India and Kazakhstan are bright. Uh, we are in the region uh, which uh, carries a lot of uh, opportunities, and. Uh, uh, without India, uh, no single uh, issue uh, can be resolved in this part of the world. Therefore, uh, we are here to uh, develop uh, uh, an enhanced agenda with India uh, to address regional issues. Of course, at the center of regional security issues is Afghanistan, and uh, we know that India's role in bringing normalcy to this uh, long-suffering country is enormous, 
therefore, this will continue to be one of the important areas of our cooperation. Uh, uh, the key message uh, which I bring to India and which I carry back to Kazakhstan from India is that we agreed to work uh, um, very closely uh, and pragmatically to develop connectivity uh, between South Asia and Central Asia. This is the key answer uh, to many uh, opportunities which lie before us, and we hope that with the strength and potential of India, we will be absolutely able uh, to develop those connectivities in multiple forms. Thank you very much. Uh, the floor is now open for a couple of questions. Uh, Mr. Gaziz Abhishek from Channel 7. Well, we've, uh, uh, this, this was really an opportunity to review what we are actually doing uh, on the basis of agreements and uh, memoranda that we have signed in the past. Um, we are actually not only reviewing what has been achieved, but also fine-tuning what more can be done and how we can speed up and enhance the level of cooperation. And this, uh, we have agreed, uh, requires regular meetings, and we will find as many opportunities to ensure that the regular meetings continue to monitor. And wherever there might be uh, uh, anything that holds back progress, uh, we've been able to flag those items on both sides, and we will address them uh, with uh, alacrity and uh, with, with determination. Um, uh, I think that uh, both of us are, are, uh, are very optimistic about our work together. And I must say the, the Honorable Minister actually uh, uh, used the word, we like to dream. Um, and uh, we share the dream of Kazakhstan, and we share his dream. And uh, we hope that together we will be able to give substance to these wonderful dreams. Uh, Surya Gangadharan, CNN, IBN. Sir, would you uh, update us on the status of the bilateral civil nuclear cooperation, including the supply of uranium? Is this being implemented? Yes, in fact, uh, I will let the minister answer that because he's supplying it. <laughs> so uh, you, will have it, you will have it directly from the uh, country that's supplying it. Yes, uh, uh, nuclear, uh, peaceful nuclear uh, uh, energy cooperation is a, a new important area of our uh, partnership. During the visit of my president and uh, your prime minister to Kazakhstan, um, uh, major agreements have been signed. These agreements are being implemented. Uh, the frame time, time frame for the current uh, arrangement uh, is uh, 2014. Uh, therefore, we are looking uh, beyond that period, uh, and we are looking into longer term uh, uh, context of our uh, cooperation. And we also look uh, at diversifying uh, the forms of our nuclear uh, cooperation. Uh, in my delegation, uh, uh, I have. Uh, uh, the chairman of uh, Kazakhstan's uh, national nuclear company, Kaz Atom Prom. Uh, he specifically joined this delegation to uh, 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 stress the importance of our partnership in this important area for both countries. Uh, we know that uh, India has a big appetite for nuclear energy, and uh, uh, we, as regional uh, neighbors, uh, 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 definitely have to cooperate uh, uh, in this uh, area. Uh, Minister Shko uh, Mr. Shkolnik had uh, 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 separate meetings today with the, uh, uh, his counterparts, uh, Department of uh, Atomic Energy uh, uh, of India, of the Indian government, and uh, they have agreed uh, that they will, uh, 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 of course, uh, uh, take care that uh, the current arrangements are completely uh, fulfilled uh, by both parties, and they agreed to look uh, into specific forms of uh, further partnership. They agreed that they will have a mid-review expert meeting uh, in the summer and in the fall, uh, they will come for a full-fledged review uh, uh, of the ideas uh, how to take uh, this partnership further. Thank you very much. Yeah. One last question, I think, from Elizabeth. Uh, sir, um, my question, uh, Mr. Kushi, you spoke about a trade and energy corridor. So could you give us some more details about how we are planning to establish that? And uh, to the Kazakh uh, foreign minister, so how soon uh, is the Kazakh government likely to give approval for the ONGC, uh, you know, the, the stake that ONGC is planning to buy from ConocoPhillips in Russia? 
uh, uh, let me take uh, the floor first. Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, I do not want to prejudge uh, uh, time-wise and uh, contents-wise uh, uh, the uh, answer to the question of the uh, of the uh, um, uh, uh, share uh, which uh, uh, Konaka Phillips uh, decided to hand over to others. Uh, I hope that uh, decision will be done uh, soon. Uh, this is a very complex uh, project. Uh, it involves uh, a lot of partners uh, in the consortium. Uh, 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 changing hands is not uh, a very uh, just a simple matter. It involves uh, lots of uh, technical, financial, uh, and uh, 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 similar type issues. Uh, therefore, um, I think uh, everyone is interested that, this, that the decision is taken uh, on a well-informed, uh, when uh, well-balanced uh, uh, way. Therefore, I hope that uh, 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 this is the uh, uh, manner in which uh, this issue is being considered. We, of course, are aware of uh, uh, the proposal made uh, by uh, uh, um, ONGC. Uh, we are aware of uh, your uh, uh, internal agreements with uh, Conoco Phillips, uh, and uh, I hope that decision will be done uh, sooner than later. But uh, let me stress uh, that uh, uh, Kashagan is not the end of life. Uh, uh, we have a very successful uh, example of our cooperation uh, on the same Caspian Sea, but on a bilateral basis with India uh, on the Satpayev block, which is a promising block. Uh, they are nearing the production phase, they are uh, nearing the uh, physical drilling uh, for, the, uh, for the product uh, uh, in that field. Uh, and I think that, uh, and I met yesterday with the oil minister of India, and we discussed it today. Uh, at our negotiations, we had people from the oil ministry, uh, oil and gas ministry of India. We agreed that uh, uh, we will uh, uh, keep our vision for oil energy, oil and gas cooperation uh, broader than narrower. Uh, and we will continue to seek for more opportunities on, uh, for bilateral cooperation uh, on the offshore or onshore uh, 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 fields in Kazakhstan. That was our agreement. Well, as far as the, uh, the corridor is uh, concerned, this is the north-south uh, corridor concept that we've revived. And uh, we are very, very encouraged by, by the support that we've had from Kazakhstan on revival of this project. This is, of course, something that goes far beyond Tapi, uh, uh, and theref therefore the uh, the first step is to move forward with Tapi, and this this is then an enhancement of of that. Uh, it's uh, it's basic uh, principle on what on on which we 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 are all agreed. Um, it's going to be uh, obviously a landmark uh, and uh, and a big uh, a big ticket thing between Central Asia and ourselves. And now uh, there are more than just two of us uh, involved. Eight countries of Central Asia are on board uh, and involved in this effort, but uh, we have to work uh, through all the, uh, all the uh, issues that are uh, necessary. There are geopolitical issues, there are security issues, uh, there are feasibility issues, uh, there would be issues of finance, sharing of costs, uh, sharing of benefits, etc. So all that will, will, uh, will come in due course. Uh, but we have, what we have done is that we've agreed in principle that this is something um, uh, that has to be done, uh, something for, for which we can say its time has come. Now we just make, make we have to make sure that it's, it's actually implemented. Thank you very much. With that, we come to the end of this interaction. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.